What is skinimalism? Think minimalism, but make it skincare. And we need to talk about this, especially in the realm of damaged skin barriers and over exfoliating your skin. We've been speaking about this a little bit more frequently because it's been a request in the comments. And I feel like some people have been damaging their skin barriers by going too hard with acids or using too many products. And skin minimalism can be a fix for a damaged skin barrier or it can be a fix for over exfoliation, but it can also be a practice that allows you to really indulge in the products you want and not overdo it. Remember that skincare doesn't have to be complex. I always say it's a ritual, not a routine. And understanding your skincare ingredients, the brands that you choose to support, and your choices really helps you be a more informed skincare consumer and helps you have autonomy and choice over what you're inviting into your routine, which, you know, should be a little special self-care routine every morning and every night. So let's talk about skin minimalism, what you should look for, and specifically, I found a Korean skincare brand that is completely fragrance and artificial dye free. We're working with them on this video, and it's actually Shenny's fault that I became obsessed with them. You know that Shenny is one of our beautiful butterflies, and she kept on telling me about Pyongyang Yule, and I was like, I have so much skincare, do I need it? And then she continued to tell me I trust her opinion, and I tried it. And oh boy. <laughs> Here we are. You know, Beauty Within has also mentioned some of their stuff. Beauty Within is the reason that I tried this moisture cream. And let's talk about these products, specifically about how these were created in a hospital in Korea, why they are the original skin minimalism brand, and even what that means in the face of all of these new things coming out. And let's start there. I think that novelty makes things fun. The exploration of new skincare trends, ingredients, scents, and textures, it's invigorating, right? And if this is something that we are doing to our skin every morning and every evening, we need to make sure that we're using products that we love because that allows us to enjoy the experience and actually stick to it because, spoiler alert, your skincare isn't gonna work if you don't use it consistently. However, there is the issue of people seeing all these things, getting excited, and having these 15 to 20 step skincare routines. We have reacted. There are some skincare routines on like Vogue and Harper's Bazaar, 36 steps. Alanis Morissette had like, what, 50 different products? And I'm like, you cannot be doing this to your face every day. Number one, how do you have time? And number two, how do you still have an epidermis? <laughs> I mean that in the nicest way. But think about it, your skin is a barrier. It's a protection. Think of your skin kind of like as a castle or as a fence. And the walls of the castle, that's your skin. The moat around the castle is your acid mantle, this layer of lipids and antioxidants that keeps your skin supple and moist. And on the inside is all of the goodness that is you. And your skin naturally doesn't want to be permeated. It wants to keep things out. But if you've over exfoliated, if you've damaged, if you've stripped, you may have a damaged skin barrier or you might have a skin barrier that is acting up. And it's a really good idea to lay off the exfoliated stripping products and just go back to basics if that's something that you're dealing with. Now this comes with a disclaimer that there are different types of a damaged skin barrier. If you have eczema or psoriasis or some sort of dermatitis, this is a damaged skin barrier that happens based on your body. These are autoimmune related, meaning there's not a ton you can do except for trying to treat them. There are other things that you can prevent, such as going into the sun and creating a sunburn. You can prevent over exfoliating your skin or overdoing it with your products and choices. And again, these are not principles that I came up with. This is from Dermal Science. It's the way the biology of your skin works and the way products are supposed to work along with it. And in Korea, this brand Pyongkang Yule actually didn't start out as a skincare brand. They started out as an oriental skin hospital. They were a skin hospital that was trying to help people understand and care for their skin better. And even though Korea is cutting edge when it comes to different surgeries, different treatments, ingredients, and procedures, they were seeing people come in who were using, you know, this 15 step skincare routine and having issues with their barrier, having issues with damage. And that's why they created the Pyongyang Yule line. And what's interesting about this is that even on the box it says, cosmetics were meant to be brewed not bought, which is very, very interesting and kind of plays into their philosophy. And as of right now, they are the only skincare brand that I know that is fragrance-free, it is dye-free, and again, it's created by professionals and backed by this hospital. Now, you know that I don't hate fragrance and skincare products. I don't hate different dyes or different colors because I think skincare has to be fun. But if you have a damaged skin barrier, if you're dealing with over exfoliation, or if your skin is really irritated, that's when you want to take things 
slow. You wanna back off everything else and just go back to basics. This is currently in my skincare routine today. It is an essence toner and it really is like, if you could imagine grape jelly that you put on a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, but without the peanut butter, without the bread, and just the grape jelly in a liquid form, that is what it is. And again, the fact that it actually smells so pleasant, almost like grapes, but it doesn't have grape ingredients in it, and it doesn't have any fragrance, none that is added, nothing even from plant extracts or essential oils. Um, it is amazing. And if you want grape jelly for your face, this is what's currently in my routine, and I am obsessed with this as a Korean essence. I swear to God, I probably cannot go back to regular toners after this. Um, Korean essences just infiltrated their way into my life and into my heart for the longest time. Do you guys remember? I was literally saying, oh, I don't need to try K-beauty. Everyone's hyped about it. It's just another trend. It's not a trend. It's here to stay, <laughs> at least when we have products and brands like this. And when we look at the ingredients, the very first one and the main ingredient is Astragalus membranaceous root extract, and then it's some butylene glycol, and it's basically arginine, amino acids. This is super simple, super soothing, and it doesn't exfoliate, it doesn't overly strip the skin, it just helps to calm it down. And again, if you have a damaged skin barrier, what should you do? Remember that the only real necessities in a skincare routine are a good SPF and a cleanser. And if you want to add in other things, you totally can. But if your skin is stripped and irritated, stop overdoing it with the exfoliants. Get rid of the masks, get rid of the stripping cleansers, get rid of the exfoliators and the spot treatments. Really go back to basics and just let your skin stay soothed. And the entire concept of skin minimalism is using products that have ingredients that work with your skin, not needing to overdo it. Because when you think about, if you're even using seven to 10 different products in your skincare routine, think about all of the different ingredients in each one of those products, and when you're layering them onto your skin, how they might interact. That's a lot of stuff. And again, that's not wrong. It's just one approach to skincare. But the skin minimalism or skinimalism philosophy is basically saying, let's focus on a couple ingredients. Let's focus on a one thing at a time and just give our skin what it needs to be soothed. It's almost like, Think of like a capsule wardrobe collection, you know, where someone like only chooses three or four colors to wear and they just pair things differently. Um, that's basically what it is. And that's what Pyongyang Yul is all about. And that's what this brand really does as well when it comes to the other products inside of their routine. This was actually the second product that I ever tried from them. This is the nutrition cream and this one is like a little fluffy cloud marshmallow. This is definitely one of the most soothing moisturizers that I've had the chance to use. Again, I blame Shenny for this one. It comes with a little scooper, which you know that I lost. And um, actually, when you're opening any of the products, the packaging is very beautiful. It's very luxurious, only they're not priced as luxury. Almost everything is between $20 and $50. Uh, but they have this little sealant on it. It's kind of like tape. And I swear to God, this is not a skincare product that you can open with your bare hands. This traditional paper is called hanji. I hope that's how you pronounce it. It reminds me of hanji, which means like yes in Punjabi, but I'm pretty sure it's not pronounced that way. So for anyone who actually speaks Korean, feel free to correct my pronunciation. <laughs> it's like fancy though. It's like tape and it's got almost like these fibers in it. And um, you're going to need a knife or a fork, I don't judge, to get this open. <laughs> this moisturizer is so soothing on the skin. It's almost a little bit cooling, but you know how some cooling products are made with menthol? They have that stingy feeling. It is not that at all. It is just like the cooling, soothing gentleness. You know, it's like, imagine a hot summer night and you pull just a cold sheet over your body. That's what this feels like on your skin. You know that one of my favorite skincare ingredients is jojoba oil. And this happens to have a little bit of that in it. This also has some root extracts. It has your butylene glycol. It has polyglycerol 3 methyl glucose disterate. This has isohexadecane and just a touch of shea butter. And this is, you know how shea butter is thick? This is super thin and lightweight, but it actually gives the skin that protection it needs. You know, if you do have a damaged skin barrier, it's basically the walls of that castle. Um, they are missing bricks. Things can start flying through and you don't want something on the outside being being able to get in. Especially if the moat is dried up, meaning that acid mantle has been stripped away from your skin or is just gone, um, it leaves your skin really permeable um, and really open to attack, for a lack of better terms. Something like this moisturizer that goes on and just soothes over, it almost patches in those little holes. It stops your skin from losing more moisture, otherwise known as trans epidermal water loss, trans meaning across, epidermal, epi means top, dermal means skin, and water loss means water loss. 
and that's a common symptom of these autoimmune conditions such as eczema and psoriasis, but also of actions that we take such as over exfoliating. And it has some macadamia nut seed oil in it. Now this is probably one of the coolest things and the newest addition to my face. <laughs> this is the Moisture Serum and they call this a really cool emulsion. It was, who was it, Beauty Within. It was my first introduction to trying this. It wasn't Shenny, shocker. And as you can see, it comes in this pipette, but it's almost a moisturizer that literally turns into a serum. It's kind of thick and you expect it to be a moisturizer and then it completely soaks in. And again, you can think of this as like a thick serum. If a toner turned into an essence, then this is the moisturizer that turned into a serum. It has ingredients like root extracts that do soothe the skin. And again, it's meant to go on and be a serum that penetrates without irritating. And serums are in the treatment step of a skincare routine because they normally have things like acids or vitamin C, antioxidants, etc. And while that's great, a lot of those things can cause disruption to the skin, especially if you're mixing them with 50 other unknown ingredients and variables. And again, this one as a serum, it does penetrate deep into the skin, but it doesn't have any of those exfoliating acids. It doesn't have vitamin C, so it's helping rebuild the skin barrier instead of causing more disruption. This again starts off with the same ingredients that this one does, the Astragalus membranaceous root extract, which is great because again you're using similar ingredients that are meant to work together. This one's also got caprolic triglyceride, hexanediol, steric acid, we've got some olive, we've got some carbamer, we've got some arginine, and dimethicone. And all of these are super, super silky and both penetrate into, but also create a protective barrier on the skin. And Pyongyang Yule actually has these in a set. It's a little skin minimalism set. So for those who are trying to reset their upset skin, they make it easy. Uh, again, outside of this, all you would need is a very gentle cleanser and the most important part, a sunscreen for every single day. Um, this one is definitely Definitely my absolute favorite, the toner. Again, it's like a liquid grape jelly for your skin, has those amino acids to help rebuild and repair. And apparently the way that they actually do this in Korea and in the Oriental Hospital where they originally created this is that they actually soak these little cotton pads and place these on their cheeks. I've actually just started doing this. It's definitely something that is like a face mask, but it is definitely something that is special. I don't have time to do this every single day, but I would almost describe it as like a sheet mask. Mask. You're kind of making your own sheet mask. They come with these little one-third cotton pads and they're actually super absorbent and you're really just pouring the essence onto this, allowing it to soak in and placing it on the skin. This allows it to infuse and again, it's kind of like you're making your own face mask. All sheet masks really are are something like an essence or a toner or a serum that is put into a cotton little sheet mask and placed on the face. And if you can use these ingredients to make your own, again, you're taking out extra variables. You're being more of a skin minimal List by using only ingredients that are already in your routine and you're just taking a product you already have and repurposing it instead of having to go purchase you know another sheet mask or buy something new. Pyongyang Yule is available on Amazon, elsewhere online, and again, they are the first Korean beauty brand that I've ever found that is both fragrance-free, dye-free, and really just based on skin minimalism. It's a new way to approach skincare. It's definitely more thoughtful or intentional. And again, it might not be for everybody, but if you are someone who has over-exfoliated in the past, if you are someone who is prone to having a damaged skin barrier, or if a lot of ingredients tend to irritate you, this is probably one of the safest bets, especially from Korean beauty, that I could recommend. Again, I blame Shenny and Beauty Within for getting me hooked. Again, it is a pleasure to partner with Pyongyang Yule on this video, and of course I have put links down there in the description for you below. And if you're curious about how to know whether or not you've over exfoliated, we've actually done a video on that as well that really helps you understand when you've crossed that line of enough is enough and when too much exfoliation is truly too much exfoliation. Always remember to be beautiful both inside and out. Use your essences and toners as a sheet mask because why the heck not and I cannot wait to see you in one of these next videos. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.